Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing some more Polybridge 3. And we're going to pick up right where we left off, where the storm kind of uh, stopped us. Let's go ahead and pull up Dangling Rope. Okay, so the issue this time was uh, this car uh, needs to go under and this truck needs to go over because you can't go through that road. So let's start out super duper simple. That's not gonna fit. Let's uh, add some arc to it. Because that little bit of curve will make it stronger. Is the length the same? The length is the same. So we don't have the auto connect. So we can actually see how tall this is. 1.25 meters. Let's do a 1.25 meter uh, connector here. So that's that is our goal. We just have to get this over. Oh, I had the grid on. Yep, we need to get this over to here, and its length is just ever so slightly off. So. Try getting a halfway point between the two and lining that up just a touch. And I think since the length is the same, uh, let's see. There we go. Back that up should be exactly the same on both sides. Now, what we need, we need that uh, auto connect just for um, for some. Okay, the one side should hold itself up okay. Not quite strong enough. Uh, let's still... It's it's probably the angle I've got everything at. Yep, that was... That, that was not the right direction to move that. Okay. So, now we've got something somewhat stable there. Do one of the that should fix all of that weight issue. Okay, um, that's that's progress, which means we can probably take this and slap it in over here. But this piece will need to be remade. Yeah, I know, I know the car fell into the water. I just want to see if the truck will make it across. Okay. So, let's see, what is the, what is the cheapest? This does read. So, I'm going to try to make it a bit of a suspense. That does not, that does not read. That is nearly every segment counted for. Well, that almost fits. Turn off the auto connect, and we're going to make a rope. So, just a tip on ropes watch your uh, money up there, and that lowest number is going to be the shortest length may not be perfect. Oh, look at that. Oh, spoke too soon. <laughs> oh, let's cheap out and slap in a steel right there. I'm sure that'll fix it. I'm seeing a lot of links that are unnecessary. Let me go back and uh, tweak that later, but top 36%, I think that's pretty good. Okay, let's move right along. Okay, let's see what where the car goes. It goes straight. Okay, so we need a bit of a road up that way. We can get the auto connect. connect. How does this do? Oh, promising. Right. 
All right. Okay, so we broke. We're the top 21%, which I think is a bit odd, but okay. Perfect. Let's see if we can make that just a touch cheap. We have no control over that. So let's change the angles. 3032. That puts us in the top 19%, and I think I'm okay with it. And one more for this set of levels, I believe. Let's see if we can get the, the tractor across. Oh, okay, so the tractor has to push that out of the way. It's not going to break. So, as always, let's see if we can make the shortest, simplest solution work. And it is symmetrical, so we really only have to build half this bridge. Copied and flipped. Then we need a little bit in the middle. Okay, first thing that broke, that link. I, I think I'm okay with that. Don't want to do all metal, but I just I need this level to complete the first time to see what all needs to be done. Yeah, and we're we're just chasing the stress lines. Okay, so that will bump out of the way. Awesome. So let's uh, undo a few of these and see if we can replace those. That that uh, oh what cannot build using no build anchor. Okay, I was a little bit curious because that did look like so lighter these these muscles are generally the better. See if that works. It's not. Okay. But it is about about as big as about as uh, small as we can make that and it's still not. Anyways, I've never seen one of those no build uh, blocks before. It would have been super duper handy. But it looks like that's a no go. What did we break this time? Okay. That that's easy to fix because we have a copy of something that we know that works right over here. Okay, and just like last time when we were chasing the brakes with metal, that link broke. Okay, what did we break this time? Oh, okay. Ah. I think we need some more curve to the road because this structure seems relatively strong, but it's just doesn't seem to be cutting it. Yeah. Okay, let's start over from scratch. Little bit of a down. not quite long enough to uh, make that work. Okay. We're going to do that. And we're going to properly support as best we can on that side. And we're no longer building symmetrically. And we're doing that because I think... Uh, I think having that last little bit loose is going to give us a little bit of flex. Probably going to save us. Uh, I found in last couple that a little bit of flex goes a long way. Oh, and we broke again. Okay, let's... Hmm, can't really muscle that out any more than it already... 
and it looks like it's gonna break again. Reinforce that. Looked like that was gonna work. And as much as I hate to just chase things down with steel, I think that's what we're gonna be doing for a while again until we get our, our uh, plan planned out. It looked like that was gonna be tall enough. Yep, that's definitely tall enough. We just have too much stress on this bridge with how heavy that is and how many angles it changes. And I watched that break as that broke. Oh, so close. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's just replace the one thing. That... And, of course, the next along the chain is what broke. No surprises there. Okay, what did we break this time? We broke a road segment. Not good. Very not good. Okay. Try this again. I liked that design. It just, it apparently just didn't cut it. Okay, let's uh, get this as close as possible. Clap one down and move it over as close as we can. Okay, so they are two completely different bridges. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, they, they knew I was going to try that. I guess maybe I can pre-bend the other side to where it's level. Oh, I almost did it. I almost did it. A little bit more. That uh, pressure from bumping up against the other side didn't break the other side, but it broke the first side. Gotta make the transition a little bit smoother. Still a little on the rough side. See if that works. Oh, how to... You know what? Let's try a muscle over the... That'll take up some of the... I know I've done this in uh, Polybridge 2, and it helped. It, helped. it did not help you. It, did, it definitely did not help you. Um, maybe... Try... Oh! Yeah, that never actually came into play there. Hmm. They want us to use this foundation. But if we use the foundation, that would definitely put us over. I want not happen if I did. Well, that takes so much of the stress out. You know what? Let's see what happens if I do a metal room. Takes like all the flex out of the bridge. Well, that time. Okay, we can chase that down. Okay, now we need less gap. Because it doesn't flex as much anymore. And I know it caught a lot, but we can do this. We do that stiffening wire. Might help. Okay, yep, we're 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 too tall. And that changes the angle of the stress, which may be our downfall. Oh, so close! So close! I did not expect this one to be quite as hard as it is, and I'm sure somebody is in the comments is watching this and is yelling at the screen, Oh, you just need to blank. Or it'd be so much easier if you blank. <laughs> Go ahead and let me know. Um, I will come back to this a little bit later and see what I can do with it. Uh, Budget-wise, because there's no way getting this close to uh, the, the budget limit is a good idea. Oh, what did we break this time? Broke a road segment. Let's see if we can change the angle on that a little bit to change the press direction. See how that goes. 
it's that second uh well it was the second tire that's getting that okay hail mary but slap a road segment in it's got nothing stiffening one side to the other but it oh it's not Okay, idea. Get rid of this side and... Wait, nope. That's not the side I need to get rid of. Need to get rid of the left side for testing purposes. So we need to see what can hold... Okay, so let's take one of these. And get it as far out here as we can. Uh, we're going to copy the roads. Only the roads. Rid of there, there we go. At the we're just gonna rope this up. I mean, we're still gonna need some some stiffening because rope like that just ain't gonna cut it. You're gonna you're not gonna connect up like that. And I think uh, one of these going. Well, that hole that is pretty strong and pretty stiff those yeah that's just it's too much weight so let's go back to this turn to the grid because I didn't mean to turn on the grid and we'll get a road segment that there. Maybe this is a smarter move. A little bit more distance between them. That does not seem to be the case. We can adjust the angle. To it. You know, since we've got a little bit more play here be able to get a little bit more of a curve. It does look a little bit smoother. Nope, didn't get it there. Okay. We can try what we were trying earlier with one of these. And then rope that up. Okay, that did not work. That did not work at all. Uh, about... These road so that's not gonna work. That yeah, that immediately didn't work. What happened there? Oh, it almost cleared the gap anyway. as short as possible. Nope, it just it doesn't work. How about that? Why does that work? Yeah, we're just gonna have to read the whole thing. You know what? Uh, with how long this is taken, it may be best for me to come up with the solution and come back and share that with you in just a few. So that's, I think, what we're gonna do. In just a moment when I've come up with a solution. Okay, and there we have it. That is the solution that I came up with, and I don't know that it's the right one, but I think we're on the right track. So let's uh, do a little bit of cost savings. See if we can get this done with regular rope. I think the answer is probably going to be no. But uh, this gap right here removes all the stress from the left-hand side. And that didn't work. Uh, we can just replace that. But this gap right here saved a lot of stress on the left-hand side. 
Uh, putting a rope to the top side of the block helped a lot there. Yeah, there we go. Drop that cost down just a little bit more. And uh, seeing a few of the solutions over here in the gallery, uh, we probably could... Uh, there's some ideas like this one over here. That looks like that would have worked well. Uh, I've forgotten that building technique, apparently. So uh, we'll, we'll rediscover that one later. Okay. Uh, let's see. We are on 13. What is supposed to happen here? We have three road segments to deal with. E okay. Of course, that breaks things. I want to see where the red car goes. Red car delayed? Might be. What do we need to do to get. Is pretty strong and I'm gonna forget to put in one thing of course that broke immediately because why not it's holding two bridges on a single piece of wood okay so we got some lateral movement that caused some issues so what I'm seeing we need, we need probably a muscle here to provide a little bit of back support Nope, that was not quite enough. That'll probably be. Okay. That is progress. Uh, since we do have this uh, connector down here, we can rigidly mount it. Okay, good progress. So now we need some pieces that will take a lot of force. Let's uh let's build it up in wood first and see what happens. Okay, uh not quite enough angle. And a break. But we kind of anticipated that. Because that is a very small piece of wood holding up a lot of force. Oh, green made it. And this is where things work. Yep, okay. And we'll put that. Green barely makes it. Just need to survive this. And we're 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 breaking stuff in order. I think they intended us to use that balloon point a little bit more than we have. I like how janky that, that green car getting across is. Okay. And another break. So let's, let's Go for one of these. Just a little bit of wood stability. Definitely love how that green wood gets across. Oh, we broke that. And of course, I replaced it with the wrong piece. Just kind of chasing those breaks till we get something that. Yep. Chasing those breaks. I will come up with a cheaper solution for this later, but. Chasing those breaks is about all I can do at the moment. There's so much stress on this bridge. You know what? We can probably. Place that with one of these, maybe? Deeper than wood, stronger than wood, a little bit more flex. See, that's not the part that broke this time. There's only a little bit of the structure that is uh, under compression. There's a lot of it that's under tension. That is one of the compression components actually need that cross. We don't need this. We can do this with a single piece of metal. 
Green car still makes it across. Come on, car. Breaking stuff again, dang it. That, I believe, is one of the pieces that's actually holding stuff. And I I already missed... We're going to speed the, speed the simulation up just a little bit. What broke this time? That's what broke. That's... Leave under compression. Okay, we're going to watch this in a little bit of slow motion to see what's happening. Okay, so it's this piece down here that doesn't have enough support. It's not the part that's breaking, but it is the part that doesn't have enough support. Wait, did green card just break that? Green card did just break that. Just because of that. Wow. That's crazy. You know what, we're going to uh, use the balloon a little bit. Oh, that's what broke. Really? Okay. Okay. Distribute the load a little bit. Okay. That's progress. What was the part that broke? That one. That so I think if we use our last road segment to... Can... can Green car make it through that? I think green car can make it through that. Green car can make it through that. It should give us a little bit smoother transition. Or how did that change? Seriously, how did that how did that change how green car goes? Really, just the tiniest bit in change in rigidity. Wait. Oh, that's even cooler. Okay, yeah, it doesn't even touch that road segment. I just need to match the angle a little bit better so it can accelerate for a bit more. Wait, no, that looked like that was that was good. Nope, that was not good. Okay. How do we Why did that break? Go back to the last successful green. Okay, we're back to that. Uh, there's no other place I If that helps. Give it a little bit more flex. Okay. So, orange car makes it through. It just isn't any faster. So, we need to flatten this out just a little bit and make it go a little bit higher. Oh, we're close. The green car just barely makes it. Then orange car is just not going to. green car is probably going to need to almost overshoot. Probably will have to use this other road segment. Okay, I don't like how that broke. That did not help. And I was kind of expecting to have to replace that one part there. Oh! Okay. That's, that's good news. Probably need some rigidity here. Ah! So close. So, so close. Uh, one more.
more try. Please don't break. Yes! There we go! Finally got 13 done. And we're done with Rustic Barons. So, there we have it. Uh, next up, I think we're going to be taking a look at uh, Bifrost Blint or Bend. So, Hydraulics, get ready for it. Well, it looks like that's going to do it for us today, guys. I wanted to say thank you for hanging around this long. If you did and you haven't already hit subscribe, please do. Uh, just so you don't miss out on any of the other cool stuff coming on down the road. If you'd like to hang out with us, please hit us up on Discord. Link is in the About section on the channel, or you can go to discord.onesnot.com. And I will see you guys in the next one.